All right, some people had asked me how to print this in different colors. So to start out, I turned it all to black. I'll just go over to my layers on the right hand side here. I'm going to change the hearts to pink crystal, the central flower to pink crystal, which will now you notice be up on top so that you can keep all of your uh, colors aligned. The blue flower, I used Candy Crystal. So then when I go to do the second one, it will show me that Candy Crystal is up top. I can switch it. The horn, I used Candy Corn because it rhymes. And then I find the insides of the ears. These I had used Cactus Pink just to differentiate them onto a different mat. And so there you go. Now my unicorn is in all of its splendid color. Well, not my unicorn, but the unicorn I'm making. Then when I click make it, you'll notice it's split into different mats with all of the pieces on them. So it's going to do five different cuts. If I actually had my Cricut machine on and needed to make another one of these, I would click continue. It would go to the make it screen. The one thing that you need to remember when you do something like this is mirror your image. Even though you wouldn't necessarily need to mirror any of the images on this unicorn, I find it's always a good habit to keep your images mirrored if you're doing a t-shirt just to uh, create that memory. Always mirror it if it's going onto a t-shirt, then you won't forget when you actually really do need to mirror it. Also, the one that uh, was tripping me up was remember to change your material every single time because this is cutting on regular vinyl first, regular vinyl second, then it was cutting on glitter vinyl, and then it was cutting on holographic vinyl. So I had to change those settings every single time, otherwise I was going to ruin a uh, sheet of vinyl. And then lastly, always put the shiny side down. That should go without saying. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys. Have a good day.